Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Crate and Art. Today, we are going to make over this sign I found at the Dollar Tree. So, what you're going to need is you're going to need this cute jar sign I found. And this will be perfect to hang on your front door or anywhere. You're going to need some scissors, a pencil, I have my glue gun, and some paint. And this is just a brown paint. You could use any color paint. I have some paint brushes, a piece of twine or string. I have a couple paint markers, a black one and a white one. I have my little X-Acto blade here. I also have some matte finish Mod Podge, and I have some glue sticks. I have some white little beads, and you could use any beads. These are some beads I had from um, a bracelet but you could use wood beads or any kind of beads you have. I also picked up my little pouncer here for distressing. You don't have to do this, something I might try. I also have a little piece of the foam core board, just cut a little section out. I have this sticker decal I found at the Dollar Tree, but you could use paper, you could use a gift bag, design, flowers, or anything. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. I also have this little sign I made with my Cricut. And it's just a piece of paper that I printed out words and stuck them on. You could use a stencil. You could use stamps. You could use the stickers. But I use my Cricut. I have... This pan that I got at the Dollar Tree is just a cheap pie pan, and I think it was a two or a three pack. I actually think it was a three pack and it had lids. We're just gonna use a little piece of this today. I actually have here is some tissue paper. I just need a few sheets of that. And I have a cutting board that I got at the Dollar Tree, a piece of blue scrapbook paper, and I got this set of lights at Walmart. And they're cute little bumblebee lights. It's a little LED light set. I think it was around $5. It's really cute. It has a little timer on there. And I can't wait to show you what we're going to do. So let me get situated. We can get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these stars off here. Keep this because we're going to reuse this little string here. The next thing I want to do is I want to wipe off some of this glitter. Okay, so this will be our back side and I'm just going to cover this with just a generic piece of paper. To figure out where I want to put the flowers and the bees and what I'm going to do is since this is a sticker here I'm going to peel off the front layer here So I know I'm going to put some of this tin on the top. So I don't want any bees to be underneath this very top layer here. So this little bit of section where the lid was. And so we're just going to take these bumblebees and we're just going to start hot gluing these. And I think I'm going to make one of these over here on the outside of the jar. So. I'm just going to leave him like this and I'm going to glue a little bit of glue here. So 
So we're just going to glue these bees down. So I changed my mind. I think after you get all your bubble bees glued on, we're just going to take this blue paper here or any color paper you want to use and I'm going to tear it in shreds and I'm going to mod podge it around each bumblebee. So you're just going to go like this and you're just going to slide it up over the wires but underneath the bumblebee. And then you're just going to just modge podge these little shreds all around. Okay, so once you get this all decoupage on, we're going to go ahead and trim off the extra pieces on the outer edges. Once you get it all trimmed, now you're going to put your flower on and be sure to remove all the little white pieces that are in between these flowers. And you're just going to put this on. I'm just going to cut out a little bit more flowers and just add them in down here in the corner. Now 
now that I got this all done, we are going to add, take some of this pan and we're going to cut a piece out and it's going to make the top of our jar. So just take the piece and we're going to use this edge, this bottom edge. So just go ahead and cut it around like this. We're just going to hot glue this to the top edge of this. I only want it on the, the very top, so I'm just going to make it go to about right here, that first little round hump right there. I don't like this silver, so I'm going to paint it brown. Now I'm going to let this dry. So while this is drying, I'm going to take the little tag here that I made on my Cricut and I want it thicker. So I'm just going to use this foam core board and I am going to cut around it and glue it to it. Now before I glue this to it, I don't like this white part, so I'm going to use this little distressing ink thing right here, and I'm going to put some ink on the edges. Now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to distress the edges of this a little bit. The next thing I want to do is I want to add some highlights to this. So I'm just going to take my white paint marker and draw little highlight marks on this. Now, I want to add the tag and the hanger for the top. Now remember, this is the piece that came with it, and it's got these nice little hard things on the end, and we're just going to feed some beads through here. So we got the door hanger on here, and then the next thing you do is you want to gl hot glue this battery pack to the back of this.
and I think it turned out super cute. I just love it. I can't wait to hang this on my front door. Well, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.